new comic book day, fellas. What are you guys picking up? The tweets mm. are like McClay, what are you getting? The book of the week to me mm. is based on cover and cover alone. Mm. Oh, I know. And that going. is the Halcyon Legacy number three Asajj Ventures cover. Ooh. And it is awesome. And that is why I say make sure you pick this up. And I haven't even ordered one. So um this yeah. is this is cover price too, Brian. I got my yeah. pull list for my LCS and all the Hell Salon Legacy books this week are all three ninety nine. Oh man, this is gorgeous. This is absolutely beautiful. Um and, and not only that, uh there are uh, I think the, are the uh, the spawn black covers shouldn't they be coming out sometime soon? I don't know if they if they're coming out this week or what, but um, this and then another really really cool cover uh, and book this week for me is Planet Comics number five. Ooh. Yeah, love this cover. Love feels like an That's old cool. school Dave Stevens style yep. cover. It's got the mushrooms in it. Anytime there's mushrooms and aliens. And hot chicks, I'm in. <laughs> so uh, from Antarctic Pl- Press, putting out the Planet Comics stuff. Uh, Planet Comics number five. We got Andy. Mm. Good stuff, man. Good stuff, Brian. Mm. Uh, mm-hmm. a, a much lighter week than I've anticipated in the past, thankfully, because I've, I've made some changes in my collecting habits. And, well, hopefully those changes stick for the next 30 days and the new changes become habits focusing more on getting my reading done and my reading caught up and less on collecting variants this summer, the rest of this year. And I'm stalling as I'm trying to remember. <laughs> there's a, there's a couple of really good releases. Um, Star Wars house line legacy, like uh, McClay was saying, I can't wait to read that and see where they're going with that because that's been kind of an interesting, I don't feel like there's been something from Star Wars that has been like this with a little bit of story hopping and like, deeper lore in some areas so that's kind of been fun um eight billion genies is also out number one tomorrow mm-hmm. and the yep. pre i've heard really good things about that and the preview people were pining over at uh, c2e2 last year that preview that was out um did really good i know a couple of what friends was it eight billion genies from image and charles soule or soul who 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 does a lot of the star wars books actually mm-hmm he writes Star Wars books, I think. Right. And there's yeah. a really cool cover homage on that. If you find it, McClay, there it is, right next to Farmhand. Um, yes. Yep. Right in the very middle of all these covers, if you look down, is a um, cover homage for I believe was it Curse Words? Yeah. Or... yeah. That's, yeah, that's pretty cool. cool. Wow, that's funny. I love when uh, they do that stuff. They throw back to their old stories. Uh, they did that for a while with um, Wicked and Divine, where uh, people would do Wicked and Divine covers. There's a Wicked and Divine image first coming out tomorrow. Yep. Mm-hmm. A That's a good cover, too. Actually. Jenny Frizen. Yeah, Frizen. Oh, man. Yeah, Those are a lot my two of good stuff. Week. Yeah. That's good. Uh, well, 8 Billion Genies was one of my picks, too. Um, Red Room Trigger Warnings, issue three, because I just love the Red Room one shots. Um, uh, also, Frank Facetta's Death Dealer, issue one. Hold on, we got to go through these covers real quick, uh-huh. man. Look at yeah. these covers. I don't even know if like this is going to be good or not, but I always like Frank Frazetta always created this incredible fantasy world, you know, and like to explore it and delve into it. I'm surprised. I don't know if, how many times they've done that or not done that, but of course you should create a Frazetti verse or whatever. Um, yeah. So, and you know, I know the death, I, you know, the death dealer, he's like, it's so iconic, Frank Fazetta's stuff, but I don't know. We'll wow. see. I don't know if this is going to be any good or not, Ooh. but Look yeah, this covers, one is, you know, wow, incredible. <laughs> Dang. There's a cover homage in there as well. Right with, on the horse. Right there. The yeah. yeah. The Fizet- that's an it's the Frazetta variant. I mean, I'm surprised. It's That's not... actual Frank Frazetta right here. Yeah. This is his his actual stuff. Golly! I mean, yeah. I'm surprised it's not from a bigger publisher. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, because this seems like an obvious. What's well, his daughter's right that owned the yeah. rights to his stuff? Sarah. Oh, she owns the this company. 
Yeah. Here's a Del Auto. Look at the Del Auto. Ooh. Mikey Likey. That's awesome, dude. This is perfect. This is right up Del Auto's um, alley, so to speak. With uh, so one, there's a one in thirty virgin variant for the Del Auto. Like, if this is good, if it's actually well written, I think this will just go crazy. I think it's it's one of those books that if it's good, it's gonna do really well. Um, and uh, Jenny Zero Volume Two Issue One, I enjoyed Volume One. What is it, uh, Dank? Jenny Zero. Okay. She's sort of like a fuck up mech pilot. Um, the daughter of a famous mech pilot, and all the way to the left. She's like an alcoholic fuck up, but she's a mech pilot, and they need her to fight giant monsters and stuff. So, yeah, and I like that. I like that it's like an unreliable kind of fuck up, and and because I'd rather read that because you know people that pilot mechs are so, and she's a celebrity, and she hates it and stuff like that. But um. Yeah, I like that. I don't know, because I feel like it's a nice twist on the whole mech, because there's so many kaiju things now. Um, we're inundated with kaiju. Yeah. We've got a lot of kaiju. Kaiju's right. so hot right now. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's that's. I think that's it, pretty much. That sounds like a fun read. Yeah, the yeah, it's, it is. It's good. It's decent. Um, so, um that death dealer painting the original here's the original looks i mean beautiful but uh somebody wrote in the chat um that he drew that when he was eight and uh i would love to find out if that's true i'm looking at the death dealer let's see here um the first death dealer comic book was published in 95 I'm oh. trying to see if if it says like where when he first drew that because he drew it in 73 uh the painting was used on the cover of molly hatchett's debut album in 78 so i don't think he painted it when he was eight maybe yeah yeah man he was it was 1973 when he painted it so oh cool. they did it in 95 yeah, they they did do a co comic book. Oh, okay, I'm just joking. <laughs> I was like, holy shit, man, that would be amazing if he painted that when he was eight. <laughs> it wasn't connected to the heavy metal or anything. No, no. The, oh, the, the original. Uh, yeah, ninety five thing. Uh, ninety five was uh, Ver Verotic. The company oh, I Verotic. remember them. Yeah. yeah, they made like Dancing. books that were a lot of yeah nudity. Yeah, it was a comic company started by Glenn Danzig, who um, yep. wears Uggs and has a tramp stamp. Don't believe me? Go check out the podcast. <laughs> and he shows up on Aqua Teen now and then. The Aqua yeah. Teen Hunger Force. Uh, would they Danzig. rename rename that company to Boundless? <laughs> yeah. Ryan, what are you getting tomorrow? Tomorrow's all indie. I don't ever say that that often, but... Uh... Crossover is going to be coming out tomorrow, so oh. that's been awesome. That's come out, and uh, heavy metal drummer. Yeah, yeah the crossover looks uh, <laughs> actually pretty cool. That that new cover is really, really that, that kind of like like tripped out looking one. Well, this one, the just the the comic book one is excellent. With the, I mean, look how good that corner box looks. Yeah. Who did this cover? Who is this cover? This is uh. Splash of blood. I don't know who did it. Shaw? Je Jeff Shaw, yeah. That is gorgeous, man. Really, really good. Hickman did a variant. I mean, heavy done. metal drummer is, uh, uh, looks amazing, too. Let me find that. that. The, the, the covers are pretty cool on that one. Yeah. They always have really cool covers, though. Yeah. This is definitely a series that uh, people love. It's a trip, man, for sure. That's It's yeah. like a tripped out. Like That's a trip. There's your hand cover. You always got to have a hand cover in comics. It's funny. I, I made a comment uh, on Twitter about uh, Mr. Cates' hat, and I never in my life have had so many. Um, he's got like an army of people that protect him. <laughs> <laughs> I was like. Oh the advocates, God. man. What's yeah, that? advocates. Yeah. I guess, man, they're they on guard. I'm gone. Yeah, yeah, but have you read that? Have you, have you, have you read that, uh, McClay? Yeah, it's awesome. It's funny. It's so cool. It's yeah, just, yeah. 
it was I didn't know what to expect and it it, it it's, it's it's yeah it's been a, I look forward to that one all the time it's been a while since crossroad has come out too it's been like I think like two months I think I don't know unless I missed one I have a cover pick a reader pick and my pick of the week my cover pick well, I guess you say two cover picks, but it's the same title. That Moon Knight, Black, White, and Blood, number one, the Chris Bacallo and the Jeff Deckel variants. Yeah. This I mean, is, I think uh, all the covers are pretty cool, but. Yeah. That's Bacallo? No, that and was uh, uh, Sinkevitz. The, oh. uh, the red one is Jeff Deckel. Yeah, this is the Deckel. How many think, do you think there, uh, that uh, Moon Knight, because of the series, uh, is is going to become a top right is the Bachalo. There we go. It's going to become like a more sought after book. I think after this series will be less sought after. Actually, really. Mm. Well, I mean, it's going to come back, right? So we'll see the second go around. Is it? Uh, well, here's I, I, yeah. Well, they I mean... said he's going to be in the MCU more. It might not be. I thought it was pretty interesting that uh, we see this uh, Ooh. again, like the Bird City Comics. Shout out yeah. to Bird City Comics. Who they did. did uh, that? Who did that one? This is uh, Scon, I think. Is this Scon? Yeah. Scon. I love Scon's work. Yeah. The show made him like a lot more overpowered, right, than the comic. <laughs> yeah. Like he's, oh, yeah. he's just not that strong in the comic. He's like. I, not... I never read the comic. Before. I didn't yeah, he's it. he doesn't have. Yeah, he's just the TV show made him like way more power to like in my reader pick is seven secrets 17 it's the penultimate issue oh. tom taylor's been doing fantastic on that series um so penultimate huh yeah wow there's a cover b you gotta pick up your free comic book days yeah. and then my pick of the week is boom also with grim number one Grim. Oh right? yeah, that, everybody's been talking about. I read about the Grimm. first. I've read an advanced PDF of that first issue, and it's fantastic. Oh, you got a female Grim Reaper. Um, she there's a guy at the beginning of the story who dies, so she she's taking him back, and um, he, he's upset because he was trying to uh, patch up his relationship with his significant other, and he's dead, and then he ends up stealing her her. Uh, what do they call that? Scythe? Scythe. 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 Penultimate is second to last. I'm just answering need that the chat question. To go back. So he, he's back at watching and he, he, she comes back, catches up with him. He's like, can't hear you. And then uh, some crazy stuff happens at the end, which that leaves you on a little cliffhanger. But I'm not doing enough justice. Great first issue. And there's some great covers of that. Um, I actually like uh, the Del Mondo cover better than like the Jenny Frizen covers. But. The Jenny Frozen covers are great, also. The Demo that's the yeah top right. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, and of course you got Jay Lee uh, covers as well. Jenny Frozen. Stephanie Phillips is the writer. Yeah, she's great. She does great work. So, definitely recommend picking that up. It's a great read. Cool. I want to. There's just a lot of similarities to. It's like Boom is trying to strike fire or strike lightning again capture lightning in a bottle again this is uh, screams there's just a lot of similarities with this release to the, the last couple of big releases with them yeah well i, mean, I another, think another another jay lee cover that looks almost eerily the same as the something's killing the children one it... i mean story-wise this is to me most similar to lila star the many deaths yeah. of lila star um Rambi. i i left this pick out because i i kind of knew somebody else you know but, um, I did that with the the red room. <laughs> the red room. Actually, I actually also left out bunny mask in yeah. case. But um, I forgot about yeah the bunny mask. I was gonna the follow up. Yeah. Um, see it's this. A, I'm so punk. I'm just so hate the shitty guy who lives above you and won't stop listening to Nirvana. Can't stand your friend's boyfriend who's stick and poke black flag tattoo was done wrong tired of being asked to pay twenty dollars to see a set in a basement this 20 page collection of work from 2017 to 2019 is for you i'm so punk who, interesting who's doing that um there's a sex pistols tv series is that hulu or fx or 
That's a great question. I don't know. I didn't I think, look into that. I think four, that's three. Hulu, and yeah. that's directed by Danny Boyle. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's going to be awesome. That's why it looks kind of yeah. crazy, yeah. Wow, that's cool. That's very cool. So you there's know, our picks for a new comic book day tomorrow. Let us know what you guys are picking up. Some people have put it in the chat. 